Pie there. I'm Alex Holdsworth and I'm the Amir Regional Product Manager for Industrial Printers at Zebra. Honeywell recently announced on their website that several of their Datamax printers will be going end of sale in December 2021. In this video, we're going to be looking at why you should migrate from the Honeywell Datamax A-Class Mark II to the brand new ZE511. We're going to be comparing the printers side by side so you can directly see why it's worth migrating to Zebra. One of the new features introduced on the ZD511 is the 4.3 inch color touch display, making it easier to see printer status, customize favorite settings, and seek support via setup wizards and animations. Additionally, the ZD511 uses the same color touch display as many other Zebra printers, including the ZT610 and ZT411. The A-Class has a monochrome non-touch LCD display where it's not possible to see color-coded printer status from a distance or watch animations, making troubleshooting a longer process in many instances. Printing labels efficiently is one of the key objectives of a print engine and the ZD511 has a faster print speed at both 200 and 300 dpi. The ZD511 has an impressive max speed of 18 ips at 203 dpi, compared to the A-Class, which is only capable of 12 ips. Additionally, the ZD511 has 32 times more RAM memory and 64 times more flash memory than the A-Class's standard straight out of the box. These additional megabytes will be critical when running memory intensive applications, storing formats and fonts, and graphics. Bluetooth is a key communication technology that can help your printer communicate with other devices whilst helping eliminate the need for wires in a secure way. The ZE511 offers Bluetooth as a standard feature, whilst Bluetooth is not even an option on the A-Class. Unlike the A-Class, Zebra's modern print engine offers 801.11 AC wireless for better speed and security. This is several generations ahead of the BG wireless options that the A-Class offers. USB host ports allow the printer to operate in a true standalone fashion with no need for a PC when setting up the print engine. The ZE511 comes standard with dual USB host ports, whilst the A-Class only offers USB host as an option. Replacing print heads on the ZE511 is toolless, cableless, and features a new quick release mechanism where it takes seconds to change. If you need to replace a print head on the Datamax A-Class, you will require tools, you'll need to unplug cables from the print head, and this is all going to increase the time spent replacing the print head. Additionally, replacing consumables on the ZD511, such as the platen, pinch, and pill rollers, can all easily be done from the front cabinet of the print engine, making it a lot easier just to service the print engine in general. The ZD511 has access to Zebra's powerful print DNA suite of applications, utilities, and developer tools. Included in this is emulations that allow Zebra printers to emulate the A-Class DPL command language, ensuring that label formats being sent can be used straight away in the ZD511. Another highlight is Zebra's printer setup app for Android and iOS that can help you basically use your printer and get it up and working in millis. On Android, you can pair the device by tapping the NFC logo, allowing you to push print test formats, settings, certificates, and many more files without the need for a laptop at point of configuration. The ZE511 was fully launched in 2022, and we plan to sell and service it for the foreseeable future. This is an ideal migration option when transitioning away from the A-Class, which is going end of sale in December 2021, and end of service in 2022. If you acquire any further information about the ZE511 or print DNA, please visit zebra.com or your local Zebra sales rep for more details. Mm -hmm.